guys. So today I wanted to talk about how you can use the color management tab in Printmate to make sure that you're getting the best color output. Now, um, we're going to click on the color management tab and the first thing you're going to see is the color modes. So photographic and vibrant are traditionally all you would need to set to get good color output. The photographic mode is going to be the one where, depending on what your settings are, depending on what paper you're using, what product you've chosen, um, that's going to give you the most realistic output. In this case, this is a photograph. I definitely use photographic. If I were doing something where color accuracy was important, like um, school colors or logo colors are being used, then I would definitely use photographic. Vibrant is going to naturally bump up the saturation and make some other changes to give you a deeper, richer color. Now, if you're still not getting the colors to look exactly like you'd want, you can use custom. And before we move there, uh, there's grayscale, which is going to simulate that black and white effect. So we're going to go to custom, and this is where you really have control over the colors. So um, let's start by simply saying you can adjust how much of any given color is in here. So if I felt that this didn't have enough red, I could go ahead and bump up the amount of red that's in there. Now you will know that's going to take down the amount of blue. So you're seeing that the cyan is decreasing as the red increases and you get this kind of look. Um, I could do the same by increasing the magenta. You're going to see even more of that go into the image as I kind of make those changes. So you can adjust an image by adjusting the amount of color that's going in. Now I'm going to go ahead and reset all of these and get back to my normal look. Now Every image, whether you're on photographic or, or vibrant, there are going to be some automatic changes that are made. You're going to notice that. These are already set a little bit. I think I forgot to hit apply, so I'm going to go back and do that. I'm going to take everything to zero and apply that to the image. So we'll see that change in just a minute. There we go. Now let's talk about these and what they do. So we're going to start with hue. So hue is the actual shade of, or the actual color. Um, so every hue is a different color. So when you are adjusting this slider, you are changing the color slightly to be a darker variation of the color or you are changing it to be a lighter version by moving it to the right. So you're changing the actual color. So the hue of that blue is changing when I move that slider. Now, when we look at brightness, that is how much light. So if I want it to be brighter, to have more light hitting the image, I would slide this to the right. If I wanted less, I would move it to the left. Now, very similar to brightness is going to be contrast. So where in this, I'm just making it more light or less bright um, with the brightness. With contrast, what you're doing is you're saying, I want a strong contrast or a light contrast. So in a strong contrast image, your blacks are at their blackest and your whites are at their whitest. So there's going to be a stark contrast in the colors in my image. If I were to move it to the other direction, that is going to be less so. So it really depends on if you want your colors to be very, very different and there to be stark differences in the image or whether you want that to be a little bit of a softer image. Now, of course, no, I've adjusted other things too when I'm adjusting this. And then finally, saturation. So saturation is going to be how much of the color. 
So you are increasing the amount of color, you are decreasing the amount of color that's being applied. So those are what the sliders do. Um, once you kind of play around with this and you get colors that work for you, you may say, and I absolutely love what I just did, um, if you really love what you've created, you can save this as a custom And then every time you come in, you are able to choose that custom and apply it to other images and your sliders will automatically go to where you want them. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining and uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.